Shalom, Kal Halal, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Abba Rataza, which means Father Willing. So, Father Willing, this lesson is uh, edifying. And uh, inspiration for this lesson is drawn from the article that you can see on your screen. And uh, yeah, this will basically turn a lot of people against one another okay this will cause a lot more problems in america right which the nobility of e right the small hatters the elite banking families all right the amalekites right they want this in the first place they want order ab chaos order ab chaos order through chaos is what i meant to say okay and people will be you know basically getting snitched on all right people be getting snitched on all right and even the ones that are not migrants all right just to try and obtain 787 pounds reward right and a bounty hunter program right all to track illegal immigrants okay which is a thousand us dollars so yeah people be getting snitched on even even the ones who are not migrants who may look like them, all right, all because they want to obtain that reward, okay. You see? So these are the, the times that we're in, man, okay. So anyone that looks, quote, you know, Hispanic, unquote, will probably get, you know, told on because people, you know, take their chances to get a hold of that money, all right, especially. With the financial straits and financial stress that you know people are going through all right getting hold of that reward all right you know will help them at least for a little bit okay so people be falsely accused and falsely detained you know falsely arrested all right off of this bill okay and this may even branch out to other states across america so this is interesting okay so this was put up two days ago, all right, MSN News, all right, it says Missouri State Senator-elect David Gregory has introduced a controversial bill, Senate Bill 72 or SB 72, that would incentivize citizens to report undocumented immigrants by offering them a reward of 787 British pounds, which is 1,000 US dollars per verified report. Gregory, a Republican representing a suburban district west of St. Louis, stated that the bill aims to make Missouri a leader in combating illegal immigration. Citizen participation in immigration enforcement. The proposed legislation tasks the Missouri Department of Public Safety with creating a comprehensive system for citizens to report undocumented immigrants. This system would include a toll-free hotline, email an online reporting portal designed to streamline the process of identifying identifying and reporting individuals suspected of being in the state illegally you see so notice that remember this the system would include a toll-free hotline email an online reporting portal so to be a system set up to do this so you know you can report these undocumented immigrants all right so remember that in addition to the 787 pounds or 1000 us dollars reward for verified arrest the bill introduces the open quote Missouri Illegal Aliens Certified Bounty Hunter Program, end quote. This initiative would allow licensed bail bond agents and uh, surety recovery agents to act as certified bounty hunters with the specific purpose of locating and detaining undocumented immigrants. Gregory's plan also proposes establishing a dedicated fund to support the program, drawing from resources allocated by the General Assembly. Wow. So in addition to that money, all right, we're going to have this bounty hunter program, okay, so it's going to allow licensed bail bond agents, all right, recovery agents to act as certified bounty hunters, all right, with that sole purpose of locating and detaining undocumented immigrants, you see, so really, you know, they're getting down with this. Felony charges for illegal entry, a key provision of SB 72 is the creation of a new criminal offence open quote trespass by an illegal alien end quote under this proposed law 
Undocumented immigrants apprehended in Missouri would face felony charges with prison sentences that disallow probation or parole in most cases. Additional penalties, penalties include being barred from voting, obtaining a driver's license, accessing public benefits or applying for legal residency within the state. Gregory's emphasized Gregory emphasized the bill's importance in addressing what the what he describes as a growing crisis. As I ran for state senate, I promised to make Missouri a national leader in combating illegal immigration. He said in a statement on X, formerly Twitter. Now he says I'm following through with my promise. SB seventy two ensures law enforcement has the tools they need to apprehend illegal immigrants before they commit violent crimes. A broader immigration crackdown. The bill's introduction comes a renewed. Amid renewed national attention on immigration policies, President-elect Donald Trump, right, and he's going to be inaugurated on the 20th of January, has pledged the Mass Deportation Initiative, yeah, we're aware of that, targeting the estimated 18 million undocumented immigrants residing in the United States. Trump has blamed the outgoing Biden administration for what he calls an unprecedented surge in illegal crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border. Right? And you devils, you're the true illegals, really. Right? America's Issachar Gad Rubens Land, right? Gregory's bill aligns with these federal priorities, re reinforcing Missouri's role in enforcing strict immigration measures at the state level. We need all hands on deck, Gregory stated, to catch illegal immigrants before they pose a threat to our communities. Implementation challenges. I'll keep it here. If passed, SB 72 would go into effect on the 28th of August, 2025. However, implementing such a sweeping program presents logistical and financial challenges, so they'll need to develop the necessary infrastructure to handle reports and manage payments, <laughs> while ensuring compliance with state and federal laws. Yeah, it's going to be a hefty thing. All right. The bill's financial implications are another point of contention. Critics argue that using public funds to incentivize citizen reporting and train bounty hunters diverts resources away from other critical state needs. Alright. That's a lot in this article. Okay. You know, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. A lot of things are, are really unfolding and taking place. So this is interesting. Alright. And the thing is that there's people that only think that these illegal immigrants are just so-called Latinos when there's various different nations that look like these migrants coming over to America you know Africans and Arabs Assyrians right Chinese etc East Indians right but the focus right is going to be on people who resemble Northern Kingdom right okay Remember, the Israelites are Esau's, you know, number one enemy, okay? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners, speckled bird, okay? So, yeah, a lot of things are coming down the pipeline, man, okay? And they could also use this as an excuse to lock things down and, and see hip everyone so that they can control who is where and where everyone's from and who is who, okay? They could also use it for that purpose as well. You see? Yeah. So, you know, they're labelling, they're labelling them as criminals so that, you know, people won't hesitate to, to move on them. All right? And that's what this article is, is you know, convincing the, the people to do. All right? And this is how they will um, move when it comes to the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. All right? The ones that speak in this word, this truth. All right? Because just like how they've outlined here, all right, just like how they've outlined here, even family members and, and friends will will turn on you, all right? Because they will offer, you know, they'll offer money and, and and other goodies and benefits, right? Just to turn you in, you know, into the authorities, okay? And there'll be a lot of chaos during this time as well. So, you know, whatever or whoever people can get their hands on, you know, to better their situation financially, they will seize advantage of that. Okay, so when the persecution comes, and it will come, right? And they want to find and detain or even unalive the prophets, you know, the apostles, the teachers that believe in the word of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, right? And in this Hebrew Israelite ministry, okay, they will not hesitate to, to turn you in. Again, that could even be your own children, you, you know, your wife, 
Okay. Again, family and friends. All right. We'll do that. Like that. Because this word is a threat to these devils, man. It's exposing them on a day-to-day -day basis. Why do you think the the cracking down and and on things like this? All right. To the point where a reward of seven hundred and eighty-seven pounds or one thousand US dollars to to you know basically let them know, notify them of any illegal immigrants. Okay, undocumented immigrants. You see. See, and the government, they will make us out to you know to look like T error my wrist uh you know what i mean when i say that right trouble causes that make us out to look like that right Eni enemies of the state oh i watched that film by the way with gene hackman and will smith it came out in 1998 enemy of the state did not mean to rhyme there all right so they will heavily demonize us and, and possibly even you know stage some form of attack and, and blame it on the hebrew israelites all right on the black hebrew israelites they love to call us that even though we're not black okay so at some point down the line they will you know, put out bounties on the ones that believe in this truth. Just like how they have the bounty hunter program that the, you know, that they spoke about here in this article. All right. They're going to, you know, eventually have bounties on, on the men of the Lord. Okay. Yeah. They put our bounties on the ones that you know believe in this truth, man. Okay, just like how they're doing these migrants, right? So they'll be out to get you know get the elect in these perilous days that we're coming towards, man. Okay. Let's get um. Let's get the book of Mark. Mark chapter 13 and verse 12. Mark chapter 13 verse 12. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Okay. So that's exactly what I just explained. And this scripture, you know, summarizes what I was just saying. Okay. Family members are going to you know <clears throat> turn on you and things like that all right so these are the things that we've got to meditate upon okay and they may not you see right now if you know you might have family members that dislike what you're doing all right but they might you know tolerate it for a little bit but when it come when this devil really applies the pressure and things like that they might say you know i ain't gonna turn in my son or whatever and then as soon as this devil turns up the, the, the heat, the, their family members might just turn on you quick and be like, you know what, here he is, this is what he's been doing, you know, and just snap like that, okay, they might say, oh, I love my son, I don't care, you know, what religion he might identify as, alright, or what, you know, whatever he's, <clears throat> you know, he does in his spare time, okay, they may say that then, but when this devil turns up the heat, man, they might just suddenly... Just give you over like that, you know. You see, and you shall be hated of all men, of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. That's right. Let's get this in another translation. Matthew thirteen and twelve. A brother will betray his brother to death. A father will betray his own child, and children will rebel. The word rebel means go to war, back to war, alright? Against their parents and cause them to be killed. That's the NLT. You see? Okay. Oh, he's a part of that cult, that T era group. Alright? And then the thing is, the way they got this. <clears throat> by the looks of it, the way they got the system set out, alright? With this whole portal thing as well. Okay? Who, you know, who knows? They might even. You might not even know who did it. The ones who turn you in, you wouldn't even know who, who did it because, you know, they've got emails and hotlines like they said. Okay? You know? 
even maybe ways of communication that they can get hold of and they could call and turn you, you know call and, and turn turn you in and then get paid and you wouldn't even know who, who ratted you out who snitched on you you see all right so when you see articles like this it further proves that again persecution is on its way let's go to the book of uh, matthew staying in the gospels right matthew chapter 24 Start of verse 9, and these are the words of Yahweh Shai, as, he, as you can see it's in red. Okay, and it reads, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. You see that? So that's talking about the, the times that, we're, you know, that we, we're coming to. Okay. They're going to deliver up the, the believers in this truth, right? The ones who's going to remain faithful to the end. That's why I read before, you know, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. All right. They're going to de deliver them up to be afflicted, killed. All right. And we're being hated by the nations for, for preaching this gospel of Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai, for preaching the truth right, of this Bible. Okay. And uh, many are offended by this truth, man. Even by our own people, especially they of the circumcision. Right, we teach that the elect of the nation of Israel will be deemed for salvation on this side. Okay. You know, a lot of Israelite groups are talk about nation building and things like that. They rarely ever, you know, speak about the elect. Galatians chapter four. Uh might not be there. I'll do this. Galatians chapter Yeah. I was right there actually. Galatians chapter 4 verse 16 reads, Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? You see? Exactly so. A lot of people are going to take offense to that. Alright? So if you go back to Matthew chapter 24. Alright, verse 9 again. Then shall they deliver, up to be, deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. See? It says, and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. You see? Scripture talks about, you know, martyrs. Become a martyr for the Lord. You know, those <coughs> beheaded as a witness as well. As a testimony. Okay. And there shall be many who be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right, and the Lord already came, you know, to bring division to a family as well. Okay. Verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Okay. Many false prophets in these last days, man. Okay. Well, you know, we've seen that. AI plays a you know a part in that too. Okay. Verse twelve. And because iniquity, which is sin upon sin, shall abound, meaning you know, happen everywhere, the love of many shall wax cold. You see. The love of many shall wax cold. And you, you can just oh every every day man there's something evil happening. Right to people, especially even in Babylon the Great, you know your mothers, you know putting, doing all sorts of horrible things to their offspring, you know even putting them in ovens and things like that. Okay. When you go into the word, cold, what shall wax cold in the Greek? G five five nine four strong cotton cotton. Strong, strong G, G fifty five ninety four. Suho. 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 To breathe, to blow, cool by blowing, to be made or grow cold or cold, metaphorically of waning love. Right? Because the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible is not instituted throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? People becoming more desperate, more evil, right? More crucial in their imaginations, in their thinking. Okay? Alright? I've even got this article on my phone. Alright? Girl, 15, fatally juked, you know, by for standing up for a friend. 15 year old was fatally, you know, juked, you know, with the knife while standing up for a friend who wanted to get back her teddy bear from her ex boyfriend. The court has heard. See? Sadistic man who dismembered three people, ate a victim's heart, and set bodies on fire, sent her to, to death. Alright? That's just on my other device. Alright? So that's the love of many waxing cold. Okay? Verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right.
Sorry, it's all about enduring to the end. Right, Apostle Paul spoke about pressing towards the mark for that prize. All right, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Come. Because the nation of Yasha'ala, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have been scattered the world over. All right, you know, and, and, and they're hearing this message, all right, that's been noised abroad to all nations via the internet. Okay. That reminds me of a precept within the Apocrypha in the book of Baruch, or in the Hebrew Barak, which means blessed. He was a scribe of Jeremiah. Oftentimes prophets would have scribes that <coughs> wrote the things down, you know, for them. And Jeremiah was a young prophet too. Baruch chapter five verse five, which mean which reads Arise, O Yerushalem, and stand on high, and look about toward the east, and behold, thy children gathered from the west unto the east by the word, right? By the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of Yahweh. Okay? So this truth, wisdom, knowledge, right, and understanding, okay, is what's gathering the elect, right? This truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is what's gathering the elect, right? And it's by the word, right? Remember, the words of the Lord never go out void, right? Notice how the scripture didn't say by posters, right, or by leaflets or by, you know, letters or emails that the elect will, will be gathered from the four corners of the earth, okay? No? Right? No? But it's by the word, right? by prophesying. Okay? By prophesying the 100% truth of Yahweh Shem El Shai. Okay? Which spiritually breaks down this wicked kingdom, run under by E, right? The so called W H I T E man. Right? Go to the book of Luke. Yeah. Book of Luke, chapter 12. Yep, Book of Luke chapter 12 and verse 11. And when, again, word of Yahusha, and when they bring you unto the synagogues and unto magistrates and powers, take you no thought how or what thing you shall answer or what you shall say right so there's no need to premeditate what you're going to say because once they have you in their possession and they you know bring you to the judge or the council or whoever right the lord in that very same hour will put the words in your mouth of what he wants you to say at that moment in time right the lord could have it you know that you say something that can cause them to let you go or even say something to confound them okay the words of the Lord are quick and sharp and sharper than any two edged sword, man. Hebrews four and twelve, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Verse twelve. For the Holy Spirit and no such thing as ghost, it's spirit. Alright. For the Holy Spirit shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say, right? It's like I said. Okay. The Lord could have it where you say something that that completely confounds them. Alright? Or even say something that that can cause them to let you go. You see? go back to Matthew but we're going to go to chapter 10 and go to verse 24 all right and it reads the disciple is not above his master nor the servant above his lord it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord if they have called the master of the house Beelzebub how much more shall they call them of his household you see you know they persecuted Yahusha they called him you know the devil all right Yahusha was more hated than loved you see Nowadays, people, if your house was on the scene, they'd more con call him like an asshole or something. Okay? You know, he'd get on people and things like that. He'd be strict, austere. Alright? And things like that. He'd tell you how it is. Alright? So, you know, he was more hated than, than loved. There were times where he would, you know, retreat, you know, to the mountains to get away from wicked Israelites. Alright? So they persecuted the Messiah. So what more his followers? You know, who were told to do the the things that the Lord has said, has said to do, all right. They try to trap Yahweh Shai in His words, all right. So they will do the same to us, okay. And they could even have it 
So AI, artificial intelligence, could say something that we never said, just to blame us, right? Call us PDF files and grapists, I have to say it that way, all right? And things of that nature, all right? They'll hone in on certain phrases and words, keywords that we say, all right? Or have said in times past, right? To try and demonize us, you know, clip certain parts of our videos, you know, out of context to spin things to fit their narrative, all right? And they're going to make it seem as if it were the worst things that's ever existed throughout history. All right? And that's what they did to Yahoo Shai. That's what they did to Yahoo Shai. So expect, expect it to happen to us. All right? So things will become even more harsh. All right? Things will become more severe. You see? They can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. All right? The facts before I go to John 15 and 20. Reminds me of this scripture here. Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Yes, right, man. It's the Lord that's going to do that. Okay. And Satan can't make his move unless the Lord allows it. Right? These devils can't make the move unless the Lord allows it. You see? The Lord speaks to his, his prophets. Okay, and then they and they can't they can't you know gainsay this at all because this is the truth, man. And Esau built his kingdom kingdom upon lies. You see, there's no counsel against the Lord. All right, John fifteen and verse twenty. And it reads, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. All right. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. All right. So there you have it. So yeah, persecution is coming, man. All right. So next year is going to be interesting. Very interesting. You see? Yeah, quite trouble may even kick off next year. It, it, me, I, it has to, my humble opinion. Because there's just too many things going on. Alright. Meanwhile, watch. The masses are distracted with this. Ashton Kutcher, right, the actor in Two and a Half Men. And he's been in some of the films as well, all right? To flee US to escape Diddy, you know, the thing going on with him, sub Poena, you know. Ashton Kutcher and his wife, Mila Kunis, and are planning to flee the US amidst the ongoing scandal involving Sean Diddy Combs, according to reports from Europe. Two and a half men stars have been under scrutiny since Diddy, a long-term close friend, was arrested on charges including conspiracy, racketeering, SEX, trafficking, and transportation to engage in prosy. Kutcher said he said to be open quote scared end quote that Diddy might spread false allegations to clear his name according to the Irish Star. All right, and there's more than that. You see? See? So this whole Diddy thing going on still that's you know, all distractions as well. Okay. So yeah, back to this article. Here it is. Missouri Republican proposes £787, US dollars reward and bounty hunters program to track illegal immigrants. So they're really cracking down. Alright, so again, things are going to become more draconian. So with that, Shalom.